to be here. Um, I, again, am Caldwell Tanner. And I'm Nathan Yaffe. Uh, we do a show on YouTube called Drawfee. Oh, yeah. YouTube.com. Yay. So, Drawfee is a show where we take dumb ideas and so make even dumber drawings. Exactly. And that's what we're going to be doing a little bit of tonight. We've got a lot of amazing comedy lined up for you tonight. Like, maybe too much, in It's fact. a little too much. It's too much. Uh, so we thought... Maybe maybe let's start things off on a, on a more serious note. Yeah, just a little more serious. Let's just let's get focused up. We're changing the game. We're going to be helping people yeah. tonight. We we create a lot of content for the internet. We have mm -hmm. a lot of fun, but uh, we we mostly want to help people. Tonight we're giving back with a little game we like to call Problem Solvers. Solvers. The way this works is we're going to take actual problems and dilemmas given to us by our online audience, and we're going to try and solve their problems through the power of art. <laughs> so guys, uh, first and, up and crowdsourcing. Yes, thank you very much. We have a beautiful crowd here tonight, and we're going to be relying on you guys to help make these drawings even better. Um, let's go ahead and get right to it. Our first uh, problem comes from Shannon at Redheaded Wolf, who says, I'm looking for a roommate next year. Can you draw the best roommate so that I know what to look for? <laughs> yes, we can. Now, I think when who, I... Who here's got a roommate? <laughs> huh? Roommates? Yeah. Yeah, Whoa. you guys know. Mm -hmm. You guys know. Yeah, everyone. Else, most people here live in in beautiful French villas, but a few people, a few people are slumming it with roommates, and we know how bad that can be, right? But I like to think that the the way to get the perfect roommate isn't by going on on Craigslist or something like that. You gotta you gotta make your own. You gotta just get in there and you gotta build your own roommate. You gotta Frankenstein it's that thing. It's the only way you can guarantee you get a roommate that you like. You gotta pull a Mary Shelley. Is all I'm saying. Uh, can I get a suggestion for what this beautiful, perfect roommate's head should look like? Big unicorn. All right, I heard big unicorn. Big, a big unicorn head. Big unicorn? Many hairs. These are all, you know what? These suggestions can all work. A, you, a big unicat, I think? A unicorn cat? Okay, yeah, let's do that. I like that. I mean, that's just a cat with a horn. That's, that's pretty easy. It's a cat with a horn and a long face. Uh-huh. I like the, the suggestion I heard over there, which was mini hairs. Many hairs. Which is, I, I mean, have you ever seen a cat? <laughs> I like that that's the first thing it's you only notice. The, only the Egyptian, like, naked yeah. kind. That, that, that they're familiar with. I like that that's the first thing you notice when you see an animal. You're like, whoa, look at all those hairs. I only got some up here. But that thing, all over, though. <laughs> So Nathan's gonna be drawing this big, oh, I love how big it is. It's gotta be, it's gotta be big. So, it, yeah, because it's got a lot of brain mass. This is an intelligent unicorn cat. Like, look at how intelligent and yet considerate this unicorn cat is. <laughs> hey, hey, Rumi, uh, notice, notice we were out of milk, so uh, I just conjured some more with, with, with my magic horn. Anyway, later, do you wanna just pet me a little bit? <laughs> Damn so many. I don't know, I guess, I, I always thought that like, hair was a, was a downside to having roommates, but this audience, <laughs> they, don't, they have roommates, so they know better than us. Well, here's the thing, normally when you, when you get in the shower and you see your roommate's hair, you're like, oh, come on, Greg, clean up after yourself. But when you see this beautiful unicorn cat's hair in there, you're like, I can bathe with this. This is gonna get, that is gonna get you cleaner than you already were. You can just pick those long strands up and kind of like floss your back with them a little bit. Just get rid of that back acne you got going on over there. Alright, well th that's, that's the head right uh, there. Uh, we, need a, we need a nice torso. Yeah, torse. we're going to Torso Town and we need another suggestion from you guys. Uh, I heard, wait, I heard Pez Dispenser. <laughs> And obviously that's a choice because can you imagine? Pez dispenser roommate. Yeah, you're like, 
You're sitting on the couch. You're watching Netflix new hit show, The Characters. Oh, are you trying to this <laughs> Why don't you do it while I tell everyone about Netflix new hit show, The Characters? Oh, that's a Netflix new hit show, The Characters. Guys, uh, it, we would not be here tonight if not for uh, this, this new great show on Netflix. Uh, they've, they've gracefully put on this entire event. You would not have gotten to see a Pez Dispenser unicorn cat if not for this great show. And much like this Pez Dispenser unicorn cat, most of the performers on the characters were birthed right here from this very theater. I'm talking about Lauren Lapkus. I'm talking about Paul Downs. I'm talking about Natasha Rothwell. Natasha Rothwell, you got it. <laughs> Give it up for those people. So yeah, guys, it's available on Netflix tomorrow. Uh, watch it with your, your freakish candy unicorn roommate. Um, and that's, that's all I have to say about that. Let's get back to the drawing. Nathan, what have you done? What? I looked away for like two seconds. Oh, look at his arms, they're so small. Why does he have such small arms? Like, Because we, we have not gotten a suggestion for them yet. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, you know what? I like those. Let's go with those T-Rex arms. I want a suggestion for the legs. Let's get straight to it. Say again? Chainsaws! Cha yep, 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 yep. One and done. Guy, you, this audience is on point tonight. Usually it takes a couple to get you guys warm, but you're just ready for it. This is so great, because don't you hate it when like you come home and your roommate they've got you they got like their stinky feet spin all over the floor. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if they had just like tore it up with some chainsaws instead? Hey, what, what do we give a name to this unicorn yet? You go and get a name for this unicorn. Daniel. Angela. <laughs> yeah, Angela sounds good. Hey Angela, um I noticed that you you did, you didn't take your shoes off, but also that your shoes are chainsaws. Uh, and you killed my regular cat. Like, it's cool that you're a cat as well, and that you're magical, and also some sort of just hideous monster made by the Pez Corporation. But my real cat's dead, and I'm kind of bummed. But don't worry, Angela's got you covered. Old Angie's got your back. Poof, two new, two new cat friends, right from inside, right from inside that cat's mouth. Can you, yeah, uh, Nathan, can you draw something uh, popping out of there? What, this is the best part about Angela as a roommate. Sh she can conjure anything from her mouth. Oh, I, I, drew, I drew a Pez, but I can draw something else. Oh, uh, I thought that was just the tongue, my uh, bad. I get tongues and Pez confused. What is coming out of Angela Pezberry's mouth? Democracy. You got that? Yeah, okay, okay, yep. Great work. This is what I, yeah, wow. Nathan, I know that you're an American citizen, but you could pass a citizen. <laughs> Nathan actually administers exams for uh, foreign immigrants wanting to come to our country. Uh, and if they do not draw exactly this, he deports them on the spot. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Um, so guys, we have a couple of other suggestions lined up from our online audience, but you know what? We've got this beautiful crew right here. If some of you have uh, a problem or something we can help you with tonight, uh, we'd be happy to hear it. We'd love to like try and tackle that. Obviously, we did an A-plus job with uh, Shannon's problem. Shannon's got this great new roommate. <laughs> Shannon's roommate saved America. What did your roommate do? Your roommate drank all the milk. Uh, so yeah, does anyone have a, a problem that they would like us to solve? Or can we just go ahead and, you guys want us to keep going on the internet ones? Solve Trump. Solve Trump. I like it. It's a challenge. It's we a challenge to be yet sure. We to do a live show where someone has not mentioned Donald Trump. You know what? I, we were talking about this earlier today. Donald Trump is only good for cartoonists. He's amazing for cartoonists. It's really, he's just a blessing for everyone. Until, like, until he gets rid of, uh, you uh -huh. know, free press. Right. Be great cartoonists. <laughs> until we are put in the camps. Uh, yeah, man, there must have been like some real, like a real sweet two-year period in, in Germany where people were just like, man, that Hitler's great to draw. <laughs> what fun, oh, that little mustache, he's just giving it up. Do you want me to, Nate, can I, can I take over? Uh, yeah, can, yeah, I, I just, I just really like drawing. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you, you, you go ahead and get that. Go ahead and get that, that beautiful Trump face in there. Uh, so guys, we're trying to solve Donald Trump. Does anyone have uh, any suggestions for how we can solve this man? Pizza. Pizza. I like that. 
here's the thing about Donald Trump, he's so orange, he's basically a pizza already. I think that, so should we give, Nathan, should we give Donald some it's pizza? so sticky. <laughs> I think that that's the thing, is that Donald Trump, like, this man loves steak, this man loves, like, excess, but I think that it's like a total Grinch situation. If somebody just, like, threw one pizza party for Donald Trump, I think he'd come around. So I think that I want to draw a pizza party for Donald Trump, and we're going to see his heart melting. Um, and he's going to die. Don't worry. But I want to know. I want to know who's. <laughs> oh my God! It's so many hairs. Uh, does anyone have suggestions for who is throwing a pizza party for Donald Trump? Does anyone have suggestions for someone I know how to draw? Chris Christie throwing a pizza party for Donald Trump! I love it! Oh man, he's like, he's like a sleeper agent. Nathan, let me get in there. I need to draw Chris Christie. Please draw, please draw Chris Christie throwing a pizza party for Donald Trump. For Donald Trump's floating head. This is my, so what's going on here is that, is that Chris Christie was like a, was an internal agent uh, that America put Chris Christie up to this. You're going to have to draw like each line like 10 times. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Oh no, I got it. I only need, I only need three lines for my Christie, man. I've been practicing my Christie. I have flawless Christie form. Christie, Christie is three lines and then just dancing. <laughs> Cartooning. <laughs> Oh, okay, there got, he is. Yeah. yeah, he's got he's got his little updo going. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> hey, Donald. Yeah. Well, you want some hey, pizza? Donald. Want some pizza, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe, maybe take a break from those rallies. Pizza, buddy. Donald only eats steak. I only eat huge steaks. <laughs> no, Donald, try the pizza. It's good. He, uh, he ate the, the backward crust pizza, right? <laughs> In that commercial. Oh, yeah. That didn't count. He spit that's it out a, after every bite. A, people haven't seen that commercial, I guess. They certainly have not. That's okay. Was this like a Home Alone 2 tie-in? What are you talking no, about? No, it, it was that it was wrong. It was that he was dating the younger lady, and he was saying it's wrong to eat pizza uh -huh. backwards. Nathan, it was a it was a uh, okay commercial. Nathan, like I I would have gotten the pizza. They they had me at cheese and the crust. I you think know? you I think you dreamed this commercial, which is like impressive because number one you have commercials in your dreams, mm -hmm. but number two like it's it's it would sell it would work. That commercial like if you pitch that to Domino's, they're gonna be on board with it. Yep. I think my my dreams have have some great sponsors, uh, <laughs> kind of like the show, which is sponsored by uh, the characters on Netflix. Because <laughs> it's coming out tomorrow, you can binge it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know who else is binging? Donald, Donald Trump. Donald, Donald Trump on this pizza pie. I think. Can you oh, please, look at this. Can you oh. please give Don? Oh, he's crying. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a, a Grinch type thing in here. And it's just like. Yeah. There it is. Well, That's hold on. Wait, wait, just, wait. I'm not done. I just wanted someone to give him some pizza. <laughs> it's growing because of the pizza. Uh, and it's also. It it's, also has hair. Yeah. It's, it's also clogging his arteries real bad. <laughs> there, <we go. laughs> there it is. My, my heart is huge. <laughs> uh, does anyone have uh, one more suggestion for something? Uh, any more problems on the audience? I think, think we, we, just, we solved... This is a very politically active crowd. We got democracy. We yeah. got uh, solve Trump. I think we solved Mike Tyson it. Tyson face tattoo. Solve it? <laughs> I, think, shit, I think it's on there. That shit's good on its own, I my man. I think it's on there pretty good. Uh-huh. 
We don't gotta solve that. It's perfect. Uh, any, any other problems? Or we, we can you wanna dip back into the let's dip back into the the, the online well. We got some good ones in there that I'm there, excited there's about. There's a there's a real good one. Uh, mm -hmm. you, uh, it's okay. Well, let me just let me just finish this beautiful. Right. Story. Yes, please. Uh -huh. is, is he? Yeah. Is, <laughs> for a second, I thought it was yeah. just like some like long pajamas with a collar. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he sleeps. Like he was woken up at night. Then Chris Christie came to his house. Chris Christie's like, been working out. He looks good. <laughs> good in the midsection. It's that camera and so yeah. much weight, it's like all face weight. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> it's true. He ran, he ran all the way from New Jersey to deliver this pizza. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's move on. We got one more great suggestion. Draw, draw Donald Trump's tiny hands. Oh yeah, I almost forgot his tiny hands. And they say that on that day, Donald Trump's hands got even smaller. <laughs> oh, his hands are so cute. Wait, which? They're even littler than the cat roommate's hands. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, we got one more. What was that? It's not, it's not, don't worry about it. It's nothing. <laughs> People get excited. It's, this isn't a debate, guys. We're not talking about dicks, okay? Uh, all right, yeah, so we got one more uh, problem we want to solve tonight. I'm very excited about this one. It comes Just from... Just click, click it real hard. Yep. There you go. Not that one. That one. Yeah! I'll let that sink in for a second. Poor Elizabeth Wright. Mm -hmm. I'm 12 feet tall, help! It makes it sound like she wasn't 12 feet tall yesterday. Yeah, she woke up, it's a... Like she had a growth spurt. Uh-huh. It's like a, it's like a Kafka situation. Yeah. But like, and I... But she's the one squishing her family. Uh-huh. So I guess like, I'm just gonna draw a house and her just kind of like, outside the house, kind of exploding out of it. Right. This is a, this is a shorter than, or she's yeah. on the upstairs. Mm-hmm. She's upstairs. There she is. There she is. Oh, she's kind of like, oh dang, oh dang, this ain't good. Oh dang, how am I get? How am I gonna have my Fruit Loops now? Like I have trouble waking up in the morning uh -huh. when I'm not busting through the roof of my house. Yeah. Um. So I think that my thoughts on this, mm -hmm. Nathan. I don't know what you think. Okay. Opposite of a problem? Yeah. I, for I feel, sure. I feel like she could run for president. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, yeah. Here's the thing, yeah, to loop it back in. People seem to be attracted to strength. Uh-huh. Trump's out of the race. He ate the pizza. He's How good. How great would it be if mm -hmm. a woman just towered over Trump uh -huh. in the debate? <laughs> <laughs> How How great would it be if, yeah, I, I think I think our, red, our nation is ready for its first giant woman president. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also think there's a lot of other things you can do when you're 12 feet tall, which yeah. is be the star of any NBA basketball team you want. <laughs> which, so think about that. You're 12 feet tall. You're on the team. Uh, the Shaquille O'Neal, who still plays basketball, definitely, is, is like seven feet at best. And you're over here. You wear a house's clothing. You have no choice. Uh, and here's the thing. It's gonna be real hard to find a roommate when you're this tall. Uh, oh, that's true. And I don't know what to do about that. I think that what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go into the NBA. You're gonna need to make your millions you're gonna need to uh, build a house specifically to your size and specifications, um, and then find some sort of Nazi doctor who will build you, build you a giant Pez unicorn cat. <laughs> and that's, oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> this is so distinctive, this is such a great look. Not only are we solving this person's problems, we're inventing 2017's hottest new fashion trend. It's called bird housing. <laughs> it's where you just wear a functional house as clothing. This is a uh, check out, um, guys, we, 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 we sponsor this. We, we have two sponsors tonight, actually. We got Netflix is the characters. And we also, and we've also got uh, Me Undie House. And what that is, is it's, it's you know, underwear. It's, I dare you to find a more comfortable house. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, look at these dudes just trying to stop her and she's just like plowing through them. They're gonna have to change the rules. The, the ref is looking at the rule book and being like, no one in the rule says it can't, you can't wear a house as pants. I don't know why that would be in there, but it certainly is not. So I guess you're good to go. You killed Shaquille O'Neal though. I think, I think the basketball I drew is too big. <laughs> Proportionately is too big, but it's, I think it's, it's great. Okay, her roommate. <laughs> yeah, her roommate's in the stands being like, great job. You did it. You saved basketball and I saved America. We're good friends. Well, guys, <laughs> I think that's about 
all the time we have for uh, for like, problems tonight. I feel like we've helped the world. We have, yeah, today. Thank you. Thank you guys for helping, helping us help. Thank you so much.